Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Buck Stops Here. I'm Catherine Murray. Well, I think as many of you know, my program does air on Sunday mornings, and uh, I do pre-tape the show, the program. Today is Thursday, April the 7th, and we will hear from our finance minister at 4 o'clock today about the 2022 budget. She will be delivering it at 4 o'clock today. Uh, it is expected to have three main themes, climate change, housing affordability, as well as defense. And there does seem to be a bit of cautious optimism surrounding the Canadian economy. At the same time, we are facing significant inflationary pressures, supply chain issues, and labor shortages, let alone, of course, the geopolitical tensions that we are all seeing day to day. To weigh in on the budget, the Canadian and global economies, the energy sector, and where we are all heading is Murray Mullen, the Mullen Group Chairman and CEO. And of course, the Mullen Group provides trucking and logistics services in Canada and the United States and is recognized as the largest provider of specialized transportation and related services to the oil and natural gas sector. Murray, welcome and thank you so much for being with us. Great to be here, Catherine. Good to see you again. Thank you. Um, you know, you and I have spoken for so many years now, and I always love getting your perspective in terms of the state of affairs. Why, why don't we start with Canada first? We often start globally, but let's talk a little bit about how you see Canada right now as we head into the 2022 budget from Finance Minister Freeland today. Uh, well, it's going to be, it's always difficult to be on a program out with the, uh, when you have the finance minister on and try and be relevant with that, but I'll give you my best uh, take on what I'm seeing. Um, right now and, and maybe our perspective of how we're looking at how things might change. First and foremost, I'd say, you know, the economy is pretty strong, pretty robust. Uh, we all know that post COVID that, you know, there was a, a, a very quick rebound in the economic activity. Uh, and that was probably driven uh, a lot by uh, fiscal and monetary policy. But I think now we're, we're starting to feel the pressures of those, all those policies. And that's called what I'd call um, uh, a cost surge. Uh, it's, some call it inflationary. I would tell you it's more than inflation. It mm -hmm. is now a cost surge. And I think that's one of the biggest issues that everybody has to deal with today. Uh, I don't think that a, the cost surge can continue much longer, to be honest with you, without causing, causing a whole bunch of undue harm. Um, but to the average person, inflation is a killer. And uh, that's just a simply a factor of too much money uh, and too much demand chasing too few of goods. So um, that's what we got going on right now. The labor markets, as you just uh, highlighted, are very, very tight. And I don't know how you can grow your business if you can't access good labor, if you can't access the labor. So it seems to me like uh, we're in a pretty good shape, but it's got to cool a bit uh, to get inflation under control. And you know that that's what all the central bankers and of around the world are going to try and uh, delicately handle this situation of slow it down without no, without hurting the economy too much. But uh, mm -hmm. just my take on it. No, thank you. There's a lot to pick up on there. And, and certainly that's the challenge for central bankers around the world. And it's so interesting to see the Bank of Japan have much more of a uh, stimulus focus still, and, and perhaps even a rate cut out of China. And at the same time, we've got the US Federal Reserve tightening on a tightening path. We've got the BOC next week. Um, as you say, it's not just inflation, it's cost surging. Yes. Um, describe what that means. What exactly are you seeing? Because I think a lot of people at home say, yeah, my costs are surging, but the data is telling me it's only you know single digits. Yeah, so let, let's look at, uh, at, at maybe the three surges that we see. Uh, number one, I would say, look at housing, look at real estate. This is not up by 5%. Uh, to the average person that goes into the food stores, that's not up by 5%. Uh, fuel has doubled in one year. Price of crude oil, price of minerals, metals, everything has doubled virtually in a year, sometimes more than that. So this is not inflation. Inflation is in a tight range, and that's what they try and uh, uh, try and uh navigate towards, but the cat's out of the bag. You've now got this massive cast, uh, cost surge going on and the supply chain is tight. Some of it's supply chain issues, but I think it's more than that now. It's tremendous wage push um, along with commodity push and whatever. Those are not easy issues to resolve. Um, and I don't think you can do it through taxation. 
I think the only way is, is either we have to add supply into the system or you're gonna to have to reduce demand.